Now that we've covered how to create regions of interest based on coordinates, we can also do it based on contrast that we've created from previous analyses. So again, opening up Mars bar, click here on ROI definition, and then get SPM clusters. So what you're going to do here is select an SPM.mat file, just like you would use to look at the results from any other SPM analysis. And here I'm in a directory which contains an analysis from a second level result that I ran from a previous study. I'm going to go ahead and click done and select this contrast and also click done. Go through a few options here and let's say I want to look at a contrast that's been corrected or it's looked at at a 0.01 uncorrected threshold and let's say we've cluster corrected it at some some threshold. So first of all what we do is we find this cluster and bring up this list of clusters right here. You can just click on current cluster after you've selected the cluster you want and highlight the cluster in red by clicking on it here. After you've done that Go to this Write ROIs menu and click on Write One Cluster. Conversely, you could also write out all the clusters if you wish to, but for here we're only focusing on one cluster from an analysis we've run. Okay, so description of ROI, again default's usually fine, that's usually for header information. And I'm going to call this Imagine Error minus Imagine Correct. Okay and you can save it within the directory that you want to do your analysis in. So here, I'm going to save it in that directory. And now, again, it's very useful to click on the view to see what you've done to that ROI. Okay, so here is a Imagine Error minus Imagine Correct. Click Done. And you can see that it does look like what I looked at in the results from that other analysis. So just view it, make sure that it looks like how you think it should look, and then you can go ahead and again export this into nifty format. All right. So similar to what we did in the last tutorial, base space is fine, and I'm going to be saving it out into this directory right here. And image file name, we'll leave that as is. So that's all there is to it. It's, again, just like looking at your results from any SPM analysis, but you just select the coordinates of the cluster you want to write out to create a region of interest, only focusing on those voxels which are contained within that cluster. So now we've looked at using RSBAR to create ROIs based on coordinates and based on analyses from other contrasts or other analyses. Now that we have these regions of interest, in the next tutorial we can use tools both within Mars Bar and from the command line to extract beta waves and other information from that cluster of voxels.